Oh gosh, is it live? In okay, looks like it's working. All right. I hit go live before I'm into, so you're, you're getting to see the terror, the madness, and all the junk on my desk right now because I'm reorganizing. Let's just get that in here. Sorry about the jiggle. I just got home. I just got home, so I haven't had a chance to do anything. That's why my desk is that's why my desk is a mess. That's why my desk is an absolute mess. Oh, did I get a message already? Oh, I have a comic reader. What up? Well, what up to you? I gotta turn my computer monitors on and pull the stream up there so I can read comments. But uh, thanks for dropping by. I appreciate it. Oh boy. I was in a hurry to get this going, so I didn't do all my usual preparation stuff. Heck, I, I don't even have socks on right now. I'm putting them on. That's just what's going on here. That's what's happening on this stream. Not that you can see it. Never mind the jiggle. <laughs> anyway, let me get this uh, stuff off the desk here. Th these are books that I got to do something with. Oh, these are books I got to read. They're not from today, though. I was just sorting through stuff. Let's get this out of the way. All right. All right. Holy crap, what is from today? Oh, God, you can see my legs. No. No. Oh. No, not the legs. Let's... Feet and legs bother some people, so I'm trying to be sensitive to their needs. Let's see. I <laughs> need a lap burka, yeah. <laughs> oh, but I do have this perfectly good tabletop here. The only thing I bought at uh, Westville Comics was this trade. It was in the $5 bin. Cats. I thought, hey, it's worth checking out. Oh, and let me get the stuff. Graham crackers. I haven't even gotten this stuff out of the bag yet. Wow! As I, the bag tries to kill me. Let's see. Those over there. Did he not give me a receipt? He did not give me a receipt. Okay. At least I don't see it if he did. Probably a ninja receipt. It's waiting to ambush people with like my real name here and dox me. Okay. Oh yeah, I'll turn alive. I can't make it tonight because I will be on Twitch playing uh, something. I don't know what. Uh, but this stream shouldn't take too long. It was not that big of a day for me. It was not that big of a day. Uh, Graham Crackers is having a sale next week. Uh, let's see. This is... Oh, oh, there's the receipt. Let's get that out of here before I dox myself. Oh. So let's see. This was the free stuff from the 50 cent bin. I don't really like Animal Man, but hey, why not? That's weird. Animal Man is weird stuff. And I don't really get it, but it is kind of a legendary run. I do believe. Yeah. It's a good run. I'll probably read that later. I got this. This is a weird pickup. Because it's a, a book about books. So it's like Wizard before Wizard existed. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. I, I get neat stuff out of the 50 cent bin, man. I got one of these uh, Dark Horse Comics Greatest World books. Usually when I get stuff out of Comics Greatest, or out of the 50 cent bins, I just grab the first three books, and that's what I did today. So this is another little shorty. Who knows what's in it? I don't know anything about that character. Now, on to the real stuff. What did I buy? Uh, issue 2 was such a hoot, I had to get Issue 3. So hopefully issue three of Elvira here is going to be pretty funny. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful it's funny like issue two and not as kind of cringy as issue one was. She's still fighting Dracula. Oh, she actually stakes him there. <laughs> this hurts, but it does not kill me. Where'd you get the idea that a stake would kill a vampire? Oh, that's Bram Stoker. That's why. You have that rebel issue. Cool. Is it any good? 
Like, am I going to enjoy reading this? I got like a Motorhead issue uh, last week, and that was just full of crazy art. And it had barbed wire in it, which is the only character I've recognized. Oh, this ought to be fun. That ought to be fun. This I am so hyped for. I haven't read it. Ah, you sound like me, man. I got like a thousand books in my closet I haven't read. Uh, this I am so hyped for. The first issue was kind of eh, but issue two was so good. I think issue three is going to be awesome. The use of color, the way they manage the color palette, uh, tells the story as effectively as the words. Because the redder the panel, the more violence is about to happen. So you know when a fight's about to break out because you start seeing more and more red tones appear. Like this. It may not be the prettiest book or the most realistic looking with the colors, but it uses the colors in such a strong way. I love it. And uh, I also like the movies it's based on. 8.5 long boxes. Holy moly. Let's see. I got one long box and... 11, 12, 13 short boxes, I think. Because uh, short boxes fit in my closet and long boxes, uh, well, the, the one fits, but I got it going long ways and it's really inefficient. So I'm probably going to take it out. Although I did just order. Oh, well, it's probably a box full of boxes from BCW. I actually have two boxes from them, but I haven't opened these things yet. They just came in today. Oh, uh, one long box and probably like 12 or 13 short boxes. Uh, I got one short box that's just stuff that I haven't put in my other boxes yet. But I should have 10 boxes in this box you can't see that I just ordered. Where are my scissors so I can open this up? Oh. Let's see what's actually in this thing. I ordered all kinds of stuff. Oh my god, you're not kidding. Long boxes are big and heavy and they do not fit in my closet. So they don't do me much good when I have them. Oh, the riveting listening to the sounds of tape being cut stream. Oh, I used a good tape too. Oh, I see how this goes. This cap on the box comes off. What is even in here? Oh. You know, I like short boxes. They're not too heavy. Uh, I seem to be able to get uh, like 150 to 200 books in one, depending on the book and the boards and bags I use. Uh, I've been very happy with BCW stuff, which is why I put in this gigantic order that I cannot unbox now. Oh my god. This corner will not cut. Remember, always cut away from yourself and never towards. Oh. There we go. Oh, sweet. Hey, my little folio came in. That's pretty cool. What else is in here? Uh, B. BCW. Uh, comic supplier. Let me... Uh, these guys. So I got a little hard plastic case for my the couple of books I have that are actually worth something. This was like 20 bucks, I think. You got their long boxes. Yeah, I am super happy with all their products. I bought some hard top loaders, too. <laughs> this one's busted open. Got some more top loaders. Oh, yeah! This was a cool pickup. I didn't even know these existed for uh, digest and uh, manga size stuff. So like my volume of Battle Angel Alita right here should fit in one of these bags. That's the hope anyway. So we'll find out, I guess. 
And then the rest of this is all short boxes. I'm not going to pull those out. You know what a short box looks like. I don't know. These are the first top loaders I bought from them. Uh, before this, the only top loader I had was one that uh, Rob Liefeld sent me with a book I bought from him. And it works pretty well. It's got uh, his uh, very exclusive Blood Strike cover that he did in it. Uh, let's get one of these out. That's the only time I've used these things. They're pretty sturdy, but they're very bulky. Let me get this tape off my hand. There we go. And grab a comic. Let's see how this works. I've never done this except for with that one book. Oh, that's pretty easy. Looks pretty secure. Does it fall out? No, it doesn't fall out. Well, it does if you shake it. So I'm gonna give these a try for a couple of books like uh, my rags number one, uh, I guess that's about it that I have that's worth anything. Uh, it doesn't look like you do. I guess you could put a piece of tape or something up there. I'm probably not going to. Uh, unless I move or something, then I might do that. But the stuff that goes in these, I'm planning on putting in this heavy duty bin uh, to protect them. So we'll see how that actually works see how that actually works in reality. Oh my lord. Already. Uh, I saw Rags number twos going uh, for $50 on eBay last week from people that bought them uh, at the convention that they were selling them at. That's kind of obscene to me. I can't believe that that comic book oh, issue one is hundreds of bucks Oh, what is in this other box? Oh, this one's way heavier. This has to be all the boards I ordered. Uh, do you know what Peter Smith is going to talk about on uh, Alterna Live tonight? Does he have a topic going into it? All I saw was he was delaying it from yesterday to today. And if it's going to be really cool, I might just end this really early so I can go watch some of that before I go stream on Twitch. All right, I should get the packing slip out. No clue. All right, well. Okay, let's not dox myself with the packing slip. What do we got? Okay, so it's a box of bags. Should be a thousand bags in there. Let's find out. Remember to always cut away, never towards. I am such a bad role model. Anyway, if you gotta go, I totally understand. I appreciate you dropping in. Uh, I don't want to keep you from missing any of that Peter Samedi action. I just love to share the cool stuff I get with people. Because you never know. Somebody might tell me about a book. It almost always starts late. This one pops up a balance. Got you on your phone. Okay. Cool, cool deal. Oh my gosh, I cannot catch the lip of that for nothing. There we go. I used to work in a bookstore, and for a long time, I had the ability to cut this kind of tape with just my fingernails and open these kind of boxes up like that. I don't think I can do that anymore. I just tear my hands up. Yeah, cool. So there should be 10 bags of bags in this thing. That's awesome. One nice thing about BCW, oh, if you order right from them, and you order like a 10 of something, you get uh, like 30, 40% off of each. 
And then, oh man, that's, oh great, now I just hit it. I was going to be like, that's, that's jiggling still. And then you order 80 bucks worth of stuff. I did get a big order. If you get 80 bucks worth of stuff, then you get free shipping. So, Monday night, at like 11 p.m., I splurged. Apparently, free shipping from them uh, actually, in fact, means like next day FedEx shipping. Because they shipped it yesterday afternoon, and it got here this afternoon. Oh, I've got a really heavy box here that I'm not going to try to pick up. I'm just going to open it up. It should be the boards. And I figure, you know, I'm in this hobby. I like doing this stuff. I might as well have the supplies to actually make it happen. Let's get the phone. Sorry for the motion disorienting stuff. So this... I know the lighting's not so great. The uh, pretty big box. There's my hand for scale. So there should be a thousand boards in this thing. And I don't know if there's something underneath this. I'm not going to try to lift it up on stream just to find out. I will probably... Yeah, okay, let's find out. Can't be too hard to lift it. Hey, J-Dod. Welcome to the party. We're just looking at all the crap that came in the mail. Oh, okay, never mind. I can't lift that out of the box. There's too much friction. All right, we will just leave that. Anyway, The Raid is a cool book. Yeah, we're, we're going from the massive order of BCW junk. Cut down the box. Yeah, I will probably do that. You know what? I can just do that right now. Where's my razor blade knife? Don't try this at home. This ought to be good enough to cut this thick cardboard. If not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try pressing, you know, pressing the issue as they say. There we go, got it locked. Oh yeah. It's like cutting some paper. Cut right down the corner because that's the safest place. And there's nothing else in there. It's just all bat or all boards. <laughs> You'll be okay. It's just all the only thing left in that box is the other box, which is full of these. You know, if I bought these at the store, this would be like, I don't know, 10 bucks or something. Like, boards are expensive. I get them from BCW bulk. It's like $5. It's like uh, half the price of what a store wants to charge me. So, I just buy from BCW. Hey, Sambo Tube. Welcome to the party. Anyway, that's enough dealing with cardboard for now. Let's get back to the cool books. This was supposed to come out last week, but there was some kind of snafu and it didn't. I am super excited to read Exilium. Did Peter Samedi send me Exilium? Hold on. Let's see if that's in the stuff Peter sent me. No. Huh. That's odd. Okay. I have a stack of... You know, I can just show that. It's not like I'm going to dox myself here. Your store's like 11? Jeez. Anyway, I got a... Uh, these are my two read single issues. So, there's maybe, I don't know, 20 bucks in there. And there's some stuff that I've already read, like uh, rags, that's just living in here for now, because I have... I ran out of space in that short box there, which is my temporary storage. My whole office is a mess right now because I'm trying to reorganize, and my reorganization keeps getting delayed. <laughs> getting delayed by real life. Anyway, Exilium, issue one, super exciting stuff. I loved it, and I wanted more, and now I got more. What more can you want? What more can you want? 
I don't know what's going to happen. That's what I like about it. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Sometimes in a story you can tell, but I couldn't tell with this one necessarily. Uh, the coloring looks great too for newsprint. It may not be showing up so great with the uh, light here. I wish I could do this during the day, but that's just not possible. That's going to be a lot of fun. And apparently I put this on my pull list, but I didn't remember doing it. So uh, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Shows up great in there. Yeah, but the overhead light uh, puts like a warm reddish tone on everything that's not there in reality when I look at it on the camera. Uh, I don't know, maybe I need a different bulb in that light. But anyway, I have no idea what this book is. I ordered it, apparently. My shop man wouldn't lie to me. So, I don't know. Oh, that's kind of a cool page. This could be interesting. It looks kind of spooky. Oh, definitely. What's happened to that rat? Cool. The cure to the plague was discovered in, our, in your world at the precise moment the greatest of all fears died in the fearscape. Ooh, psychological stuff. You need to have a daylight bulb. Yeah. I could turn this ring light on and it would dominate all the light. But uh, it's directly around where the camera sits. So it puts a big ring on uh, shiny covers. Or shiny pages. Like if I put the raid back here, you would really see it. I only use this light when I'm looking at uh, newsprint. And then here's the last thing I bought. There's this trade. It was $5. It was in the Please Stay Now bin. Reprinting the critically acclaimed Wildcats version 3, issues 7 to 12. I vaguely remember Wildcats from when I was a kid. There was like a cartoon and a Super Nintendo game, and that's what I really remember them from. Not the actual comics. But I'm hoping it's going to be a good time. And hey, for five bucks for a graphic novel, it burns us. Uh, it's kind of hard to go wrong. Kind of hard to go wrong. Let's get these books out of here. Let's see what's in the comic shop news. I was like looking through this thing. Oh, God, it moved. You can see my leg. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me for accidentally showing leg. You know, don't don't murder me or something. Ah, move the camera a little more. We're almost leg free. One more little move. Okay, now we're leg free. Firefly brightens boom. So yeah, I don't care. I mean, Firefly was kind of cool, but I feel like it's been what, fifteen years or something? Twenty years? Like, let it go. Let it go. Good things have to come to an end. <laughs> border Town. Oh, I can't believe people pay money for Border Town, even to mock it. You know, maybe I should buy a Batman 50 or whichever was the wedding issue. Just, just so I can say I have it. Oh, but this. Zero Hype for Firefly. Yeah, see? I, I'm surprised it's getting published, because isn't Joss Whedon, like out of favor with the powers that be these days? Like, I, I, I don't get it. Uh, but Justice League Dark, if you have not been checking out Justice League Dark, uh, I think the first three issues are getting printed up in a trade soon, and then the Witching Hour should be in another trade. It's absolutely worth picking those up. Witching Hour was fantastic, and the first three issues of JL Dark do a great job of setting up the madness that's about to happen. It, it's awesome stuff. Uh, the fact that it has characters that you don't see too often. Yes, Upside Down Man! Oh my god, I'm so glad somebody else is reading this. Somebody that's not me. You have no idea, man. I talk about this with people, and they go, well, that sounds cool, and nobody's reading it. Ah, oh, so cool. Let's see, Justice League Dark, Justice League 15. I, I couldn't get into Justice League, man. I bought, like, the first issue, maybe the second issue, and it did nothing for me. Uh, but Justice League Odyssey... First two issues, man, you guys can't see Jack, can you? I'm sorry, it's can't really do anything about it. Let's, maybe if I 
hold this up and block the light a little bit. Here's the glare. Oh, then you just can't see anything. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, Justice League Odyssey, the first two issues with that uh, Stepan Cedric art, so good. Uh, I'm kind of leery what the art's going to look like for the next couple issues. I'm really worried that the art's gonna gonna make me cry after seeing how glorious it should have been. But you can't blame him. DC kind of screwed him over. When you send books back and you go, "Hey, you need to completely redraw this because we completely rewrote it." Um, that's not fair to anybody. Naomi won. What what is that about? I have no idea. Oh wait, there's text. When a fight between Superman and Mongol crashes into a small northwestern town, Naomi begins a quest to uncover the last time a superpower. Oh my God! Are they adding the milestone characters to DC? Midwestern town. Um, oh my God! What was that guy's name? The milestone version of Superman. Is that what this is going to be about? If it is, that'll be pretty cool. And adoption in Naomi number one, a Wonder Comics title by Brian Bendis. Oh, never mind. I lost all interest in it. I lost complete interest. Brian Michael Bendis can stop writing comics any day now, and he'll make the industry better with the lack of his presence. Icon! Yeah! Dude. Oh, I love having somebody who knows this stuff around. They didn't even talk about Marvel in this comic shop news, did they? It's been every other publisher. Hmm. That might be interesting. I know Ed Brubaker is a pretty good writer. I'm sure I've read his stuff. I have a good impression of him. Uh, Archie, you got anything cool coming up? Let's see, Mark Wade. Nope. That's okay. What about that in here? People whose names I don't recognize, okay? And no one in Riverdale is safe in Blossoms 666. One of the Blossom twins is the Antichrist. Oh my god. Just never mind, Archie. Never mind. Give me a Mighty Crusaders book and I'll buy another one of your titles. Are we done? Well, we're done. I don't think Marvel got mentioned in this once. I wonder what that says. And the other thing I picked up, I was like flipping through these too, because you never know what you're going to see. The Joker versus the Legion of Doom. So, what, the Joker just dies? Like, these are people who won't hesitate to kill him. This isn't even, this shouldn't even be a fight. The Superman group. What exactly do editors do? Probably rubber stamp everything Brian Michael Bendis says. Ooh, previews. Then use mine, Green Lantern. Well, power up. They aren't live yet. Yeah, there's also kinds of cool stuff in DC Nation. Uh, but I like to view it as like the Marvel previews where I just kind of get in here and I mock it. <laughs> I'm a terrible person, I know. Although, I gotta say... I would much prefer Grant Morrison go write Batman again. But uh, I might have to look at his Green Lantern. I'm, I'm going to pick this up off the shelf. I should have done it today, but I didn't think about it. I'll have to see if they still have one next week, and they probably will. I'm not going to say anything. Oh, wow, there's a lot of static on this page. Look at this. Dude, this is like magic. If this was like the 1600s. Wow. You got the last one, J-Dot? Have you read it yet? Have you looked at it? Is it any good? You're going to mute me? Uh, if he's going now, I probably won't keep going for too long. I don't like uh, talking over my man, Peter. Oh, my God, look at that static. You can't feel it because you're just watching, but it is there. It is real. Not yet. Okay. Uh, if you do read it, 
uh, shoot me a, and it's good or bad or whatever, let me know like on Twitter or on a video comment on one of my other videos or on this video or something uh, so I know if it's worth actually picking up when I see it next week. The Sage Force. The Strength Force. The Still Force. I don't know. I feel like this is kind of silly. This is like the proliferation of lantern colors, and I don't know that I actually like that idea. Ah, here we go. Anything interesting? Oh, did anybody pick up, like, the uh, Yogi Bear Deathstroke book? I flipped through that at the store. Behind Hexed. Ooh. Okay, I think I am going to wrap this up pretty soon, then. Because I want to see what they have to say. I thought this was supposed to be a mini-series, The Unexpected. Oh, I'm thinking I'm confusing it with uh, Immortal Men, aren't I? That wasn't a mini-series, but it did end. Whew, how could he let this happen? The Dark Heart of Metropolis exposed in... Action Comics 1006 by Brian Michael Bendis. Yep, he's going to ruin Superman like he ruins everything else he touches. That might be kind of cool. I might pick that one up. Alright, I think we're going to call it here because I have been through everything I bought and everything that came in the mail. Oh, actually, did I go through everything that came in the mail? Hold on. Let's see. That was last week. Da, 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 da. I don't know if I showed that I got Death Sworn in the mail last week, but I got that. Uh, should be cool and bloody. Oh, yeah, that must be everything then. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to call it a stream here. Uh, oh, let me, since Peter Smetti's going, let me just kind of put this over here. First printing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Complete with awesome, awesome little face doodle. I love it. I love it. You all have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember to like, comment, follow, subscribe, tweet, Facebook, and whatever else is going on. And I will see you next time. Kind of a short stream, but uh, if you haven't checked out Peter Semeti and what they're doing on um, Alternative Comics Live, go do it. He is a super cool dude. I like the man, and uh, he deserves an audience. Ciao, everybody. Let's see. Wait, I hit the X. There we go.